Hello, my name is Ben Booth. The subject for today is, what is the return on investment on wind turbines? Are they a good investment? We have done a lot of research on this. We've done a lot of research both in Holland and Canada. We've done research in Europe. And we believe we have the answer for you to look at wind turbines in terms of what is the return on investment. We used an example of the West 300. This is a, a historically proven turbine. It's been in business for over 20 years in operation. It's approved workhorse. This turbine cost, including installation, about a million dollars. Now, for a million dollars, you get a production of electricity based on uh, typical wind speeds and uh, cost of electricity in Texas uh, of about $12,000 to $20,000 per month, again, depending on the winds, $20,000 being in the best of, of wind conditions. Now, for an investment of a million dollars, you have the potential of getting a return of $20,000 a month. $20,000 a month times 12 is $240,000. So what would you think if I could say I could get you a $240,000 a year return on your investment of a million dollars? Sounds pretty good. My Merrill Lynch account's paying me 2%. My bank's paying me 2.5%. And yet, on Wall Street, we see a lot of risk. Sometimes I think maybe a wind turbine would be of less risk than what we see. But this is the point. The federal government, in addition to this, to try to encourage uh, more renewable energy because they believe the price of energy is going to go up and we're going to need the production, uh, 30% of the investment in terms of either a grant or a tax credit, an investment tax credit, back to the investor. So he spent a million dollars, but he has the potential of getting a $300,000 check back from the government. So the investor's net cost in this wind turbine would be $700,000. Now let's look at it again. $700,000, and let's say this wind turbine is well located in a good wind position, and maybe it's generating $20,000 per month in electricity. 20,000 times 12 is $240,000 a year based on a $700,000 investment. That's close to, gee, 30, 34, 35, 36% return on investment. This is an excellent return on investment. Plus, the owner of a wind turbine generates carbon credits. He can sell these credits to some company that's been penalized or is a polluter, uh, and that company is glad to buy his carbon credits. So for a turbine of this size, under the scenario that we've mentioned, it's conceivable that he could get another thirty to $70,000 a year as a cash bonus in carbon credits. Plus, there's another tax advantage. Uncle Sam allows these turbines to be depreciated over a five-year basis, the first year, you can take a 50% depreciation. And so 50% of a million dollars is $500,000 if that company's in a 35% bracket. Well, then you can see this would be actually a cash return of maybe $150,000 to this company, additional cash bonus. So the numbers on wind turbines work. On a household turbine, say a 5 kilowatt that sells for $29,000, the government would give 30% of that back, so you'd have a net investment of twenty dollars to $21,000 for a turbine that'll make anywhere from $150 to $400 a month, or uh, in really good conditions, maybe $5,000 a year. $5,000 a year return. On an investment net of $20,000 is not bad. Turbines do work. Our company is called Wind Inc. You can catch us on the internet at wind-inc.com or you can call us at 1-800-583-6655. Uh, We're glad to be of help to you. We believe in wind technology. We hope you do too. My name is Ben Booth. Thank you.